Hello everybody, my name is Boulevard, and sometimes I like to be dramatic, like the time that I didn't even wait to finish playing a tournament before kicking off my casting career. Conceding. I'm playing the game, give me a second. Oh, I thought it was over. It's last no. time. Oh, my bad. We're still going, apparently. No, apparently there's still stuff happening. You searching for a rival video. I'm gonna black leaf this Laura. <laughs> okay. And you guys are gonna sit here and watch it. <laughs> He's... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get black Laura. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no longer doing the commentary, Aaron Miles is doing the commentary. Since then I've switched over to Legends of Runeterra, where I have cast hundreds of hours of dozens of tournaments across every region, and I have some samples of some of the casting that I've done here for you just to highlight some of the skills that I picked up, such as handling hype moments, processing large amounts of information, building tension over the course of a game, and knowledge of the game's history. So... Oh buddy, top text the Fioras wow. there it is! Oh no, but he finds you! Oh my there. god! <laughs> Talking about 7x bang, gonna line that one up to the left, and he's gonna steal the game away from oh random seven. He gets God. the perfect top deck for the Fiora lethal, and it doesn't mean a thing. We have part lobster only has 10 mana. You actually yeah. can't kill Numiel with four mana and a Karma Ezreal. It's got a very strong chance to win the game. He'll have 10 mana available um, for the Karma Ezreal already on field. Has burst spells in hand. There's a oh, chump on there's an Ezreal. But what about the shrooms? Oh, oh. There's a shroom. Oh. Oh and my god. Come down to does he top deck a shroom? How many shrooms are in this? Are that because if left? Lobster is going to win the game at burst speed, he's got to draw some cards. Oh my god. So he needs to develop the Ezreal and pray to God he doesn't draw a shroom. Yes. Wow. And all of a sudden, this game got real spicy. Oh! Oh my. That is not how I. Are you oh kidding me? Oh my god! Are you... Are you kidding me right now? That's how this ends? You oh can't find god. a mystic shot off of 10 draws and all of a sudden Lobster's dead to a top deck poisonous puff cap. Okay. Well, this is smart because now you can always play the hush Yeah, you probably after. don't want to proactively yeah. hush, but yeah, Humble going for lethal. This is game number three, right? All right, is this gonna do oh it? Oh man. Shika, do you have the hush that's literally the only card in your deck that gets you out of this? Oh, Humble wow. opinion, this... Has he outmaneuvered him? 17 damage coming at the face. Whoa. And I don't think he... Oh, oh, oh pale cast that's eight. not it. Could draw the hush. Could Does draw he the draw hush. it? Is... It would have to be snap fired off. Humble opinion, I mean, his board is going to Holy suffer for this. I mean, forget about Cosmic Rays. We just got rid of the entire board, and now Humble really doesn't play phenomenally wow. on defense from here. And this Flea Feather Tracker isn't actually going to have Challenger because there's no unit to play alongside it. And now Humble Opinion, oh. so close to getting it done, now seems so far away from winning this game. Okay. This actually scares me because what I was thinking was that this stand United trick doesn't work twice, right? But Shika actually is leaving an unblocked unit. If the, okay. okay, yeah, that's what I thought. If he blocks here, as bad as it seems, I understand. Yeah. You were so incredibly close to losing the game to this play earlier. Yeah. You can't, I mean, you're, you're going to feel so insane well, if you lose to it twice. All right, so Any unit really will get it done. There it is. Oh, and there it is, and that's going to be Shikamaru, wow. and it's just a concession out of humble opinion. 9-0 and oh through Swiss, wow. and undefeated up until this last possible second, just outside of the winner's bracket, and to go down <sighs> to a cantrip into a hush off the top. He played it so smartly, had that... Oh, that was insane. Oh my I god. Can't... He has another chance. He what still has we, a shot in the loser's bracket. What did we just witness? But Shikamaru <laughs> is going to be moving on to the ascent of Targon Invitational. And if that is what it takes to climb Mount Targon, Shiku, you've got the grit. We can block and get a kill on the oh. Draven. Ooh. Or we can walk right into yep. a... That's uh, rough. You hate to see That's it. That's rough. But even, even then, but one thing that I did want to mention about this Flame Chompers, if you played way back in, like, closed beta, or I guess it was open beta, and, y you know... Jinx Draven was a deck, discard aggro existed, and you didn't really see Flame Chompers. The difference between Flame Chompers back then and Flame Chompers now is the meta back then was very wide, very board-centric decks. Yeah. It was fearsome aggro. It was, you know, I knew it was Bannerman. It was elusives. The Flame Chompers really didn't do a whole lot. I feel like now mid-range and control decks exist more, and they play less and less sort of units than they used to. So you, your opponent generally will only have like one or two units in the early game. If you can get one of those out of the way, you've got a big attack turn. Whereas previously your opponent had just as many units on board as you did.